One of the questions I get a lot is, what is my, why is my mouse cursor blue? And today I want to answer this question and many more regarding the Blish Hut. So let's start by showcasing a little bit what it can do. So like I said, the mouse cursor here is Blish Hut. But I also have this tool where I can say, oh, I want to go with this mount that I currently have. Or I want to equip a toy, I want to go fishing, I want to equip my skiff. All of that kind of stuff really easy just by press of one button. So let's first start by how do you get it? You get it by going to the website, linked in the description below, click on the get started thing, and then it tells you everything you need to know, how to install it, how to download it. Really easy, just download, then extract it and open the Blishot exe. And if you did that, then you will have an, so to say, overlay ready, and you have then to just select what you want to have in the overlay. And typically you have the game running while you have this, and then the, the overlay works. So you can read all of that but it's not that yeah difficult the most important part here is that you have to install different modules so blish hut itself is just one thing a software that doesn't provide anything you have to install modules that then for example alter your mouse and that kind of stuff and you can do that here in the modules thing and you can scroll up to all the modules that are in there and you can select the ones that you like you can also do that in game by going to this button and you can then see some of them here and that you can then download and disable or enable whenever you want to. So then you can, for example, set um, the options here that you need for the module you want to change. Let's say I personally, for example, run the session tracker. I like that because it lets me show how much stuff I got in the last hour or so. It's especially fun and PvP and world, uh, world versus World mostly to see how many kills I got and how many level ups. But you can then adjust the options and settings what you want to see. And you can see you can actually change a lot of stuff here. So this is just one module that you can use, for example, if you want to know how much farming stuff you got. And this updates every few minutes. So it's really fun. You can set a lot of stuff up here. But then I have the builds manager really, really broken if you use it a lot to swap, ar swap around a lot of builds, you can do that. I actually don't use it sadly, but it's a really good tool if you want to have save all your build templates, what gear you should run, and you can also ch choose for which class it shows up if you want to play Alacrity and that kind of stuff. Really helpful tool to just save all the builds that you want to run. Also can save the equipment. Of course, you can't copy the equipment yet, but it's very helpful if you want to know, okay, this build has this equipment, I have to change it to that. So really helpful tool as well. And then mouse cursor speaks for itself you can change how big it is how which colors it has really helpful then what i use all the time which is the one that i already showed is the mounts so how can you set this up go just to settings and then very importantly you need to open your in-game settings as well and go to the controls and then you set up the corresponding control that you set up for your mount in game to summon it also here in the radial setting so in the mounts and more setting yeah, and you cannot only yeah choose the mounts, but you can also choose, for example, skill fishing and the stuff that I showed you. There are a lot more here that you can do, but I personally just use the ones that I really use all the time. And then you can yeah just select a lot of uh, different other stuff that you want to adjust. But I just use the um, default settings with the mo module keybind. This is really important that you set this up as well because this lets you by pressing this button open the mounts and more radial wheel yeah this one that i showed you just previously and this is really helpful so i can easily access with just one button all of those keybinds without having to worry about and remembering them and yeah completely breaking my fingers to get to those keybinds so this is really nice so this was just a short overview of the modules that i use all the time but let me know if you have any other modules that are really good or that you like to see used more so thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks to all my supporters on YouTube and Patreon. Thanks, Malice. Thanks, Timo. And I hope to see you all in the next video.